All right, let's see what it is. Joel, who the, am I stupid? Who was Joel in this? Have we met a Joel yet? I don't know. For whatever reason, it does seem familiar. I just, I don't know why. We definitely have. Whatever. Um. Again, but we're continuing on with this. Hold on, let me turn this down because this is always loud shit. Also, I low key kind of feel like shit. Like, not even like sick. I just feel like dog shit. I don't know why. Maybe my body's finally fucking failing on me. But we're just continuing on with this because, again, you know, we're still all playing this, right? And we're still going through it. Um, In the last part, we started the investigation arc, right? And kind of saw the, I guess, um, the catalyst for that, right? The interaction between. Shiro and Charlotte, and Charlotte's kind of own personal, I guess, uh, you know, interest in the situation, right? And then we saw another big thing being the MC's argument with his mother, right? And I'm not going to lie. Listen, I feel like let's establish a baseline. The MC made the right decision. Shiro is a terrible person and human being. I think that's... I think most people would agree with those two statements. Like, I feel like that, or I'm just so out of touch that, you know, I don't know. But I feel like those two are such obvious statements, like in such obvious points that I don't think they're really up for debate. Like, I feel like the MC made the no-brainer decision, even ignoring all the Kai crap, just based on how she and who she was as a person and the fact that Kayla and Ruby just blatantly don't care about him. Like, they only care about him being a fourth body. They don't care about his situation or position at all. Uh, is enough reason for him to not be in the club, even excluding all the Kai nonsense, right? Which is either situation, whether it was just Kai, just Shiro, either one of those would have been reason enough to leave the club. But both together, I feel like, is the easiest decision to make a no-brainer, right? The MC made the right choice to leave the club. He made it way later than I would have, right? And Shiro is a horrible human being. Like, the fact that he doesn't accept responsibility, like, for anything, and the fact that he doesn't even acknowledge that he started it, is crazy. Like, but it's really concerning that the mod seemingly trying to paint this picture of Shiro being the victim and the MC making the wrong decision... If anything, I feel like the MC's argument with his mother just proves that he made the right decision. The fact that his own mother, you know, tried to berate him and, you know, uh, use him to get at his father, right? You know, try to slander him that way, say, oh, you're just like your father, right? I feel like that's reason enough for the MC to know he made the right decision, right? You know, when his mother, right, is trying to compare him to his father. That's how he should know he made the right decision there, right? You know, and again, this is like, I hate saying it, it does remind me of my own mother. Like, I swear, no matter what I did, she would never have my back. It was almost as if, like, I was just wrong regardless. And I feel like, you know, and, and that's such, that's why, like, I really hate single parents. Like, I really do. My parents weren't single, but I really hate, especially when they try to, you know, just get back at their, like, partner through their own child, right? Which is very clearly what we saw the MC's mother try to do. I mean, basically, you know, the whole comparison with his father, right? Just try to completely slander him there. Again, like, I feel like they're, and again, we're, we're in, we're, again, just kind of to wrap up, where I'm bringing this, right? And what I'm trying to say, you know, and where I'm going with this is if the mod's genuinely going to try to portray it as the MC made the wrong decision and that Shiro's somehow victim, I'm really concerned. Like, I, that if that's the message the mod's trying to put off, across, I cannot endorse that. And that single-handedly degrades this mod from probably I don't want to say that this is better than New Eyes, but this mod genuinely one of my favorite mods I played ever. But if this is the message the mod's trying to put, I cannot endorse that. Simply because it's just so like disconnected from reality, right? It's so idealistic and naive to try to assume that Shiro is somehow a victim here and that the MC made the wrong decision. But I guess we'll see continuing on. Like, you know. Hey, who? this is fucking age. This isn't, um, who, am I stupid? Who the fuck? No, this is, this isn't Adrian. This is the other dude who got, this is Joel, I'm pretty sure. You know, or Chester, Jesus Christ. And his ass got, dude. 
it was literally an anime fight between this dude and Kai. He got his ass kicked by Kai, bro. Like, good, bro. Like, good, hey. You know, fucking stay away from Shiro, dude. Like, stay away from Shiro. Like... I'm not reading this shit, dude. And again, I guess the question being, where's Sam, right? Because we know the MC had a pretty heartfelt, you know, had a heart-to-heart -heart with Sam, right? I Like, I'd consider him and Sam to be good friends by this point. Yeah, and again, Chester, we know he's not with Kai because he got his ass beat by Kai, right? That's why I'm saying, like, the MC is acting as if the first two weeks, like, are somehow his whole experience. Like, you can move on and let go, right? Forget what happened. Like, good. Shiro is an asshole when he participates. Like, that's good. Good that he's finally, you know, not, like, learning to actually, like, take a backseat role in this class. Like, But here's the problem with Kayla and Ruby. I think it's so blatantly obvious they just straight up don't care about the MC, only care about him being a fourth body. If they cared about the MC, they would at least be semi-understanding of his, his situation, but they're not. They just straight up don't care about his situation and dilemma. To him, to them, they just he just serves as a fourth body for the club. So... Ask about what? Dude, I swear to God, bro. Like, I don't care what he has to say. And I don't care what Chiro told him. Like. Yeah, I mean, but you know. What is this about, dude? Like. Yeah, but then here's the problem. What could this possibly be about? Don't tell me like everyone, every single person is going to try to convince Michael he made the wrong decision because he didn't. He made the right one. Jesus Christ. So this is such a fucking stupid point to make because there's no way the faculty don't even know about Shiro. Like this is, there's no way they're going to try to convince the MC he made the wrong decision when they know about Shiro, right? And again, you know. Mr. White William. <sighs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Instead of Walter, it's William, bro. Like. Hey, good. I swear, I was going to say, you know. It's because I thought they were going to go the route. He was like, Shiro completely spilled the beans and he was going to try to convince the MC to get back at him, but, or like get, get back with him, right? But thankfully that didn't happen. I guess the big thing now, the interesting thing we know about this science class, right, is that the MC has it with Charlotte. We know Charlotte's in this class, right? So she might try something, right? Yeah, you know, that's what I thought, too. And I'm like, that's so... I, there's no way the game's going to take that route. But that is a good thing that Mr. Hart did, though, to say, like, you know, I'm not going to ask what happened, but, you know, just so long as it's not an issue with class, that's fine. And if you need anything, just... Go. Like, that's the best thing he could have done, right? This is literally... Dude, this is literally fucking Walter White from Breaking Bad, dude. You got to be fucking gaming, bro. This is literally... You're good. I mean, he's literally on time anyway. So, John. Bro, I'm fucking, I'm reading this in like the voice of Walter White from fucking Breaking Bad. Like, damn, I wonder who his partner is going to be. Maybe it's Charlotte, huh? Don't drink like goddamn cough a little freaking uh, lung cancer ass. Hydrochloric acid. What is it? H2O? Like. 
damn, I wonder who it's going to be, you know. Yeah, they, it, it's like, you know, the only – because that's why I was like, we didn't know that Charlotte was in our class. We didn't even know we had a science class, right? But obviously, Charlotte answered that question. So, you know – And the MC needs to make the connection here because he knows Charlotte, right, from Shiro. So, Charlotte's Web, that's pretty fucking hilarious. I'm not even going to lie. That's, I didn't even get the connection for the name, but. All right, I'm not going to lie. Your mom kind of set you up for failure there, but. Let's see. So, but obviously we know why Charlotte, uh, again, partnered up with the MC, but I'm actually going to pause right here. I'll be back. All right. Hold on. So back to this. Without giving up too much information, I may have unironically had the worst bathroom experience of my life. I don't know what to say. It's been about 30 minutes. I left at 11 and it's what, 39? I mean, I, I will say I do feel a lot better now, which is nice. So hopefully should be able to go for like 30 more minutes and uh, should be fine there. Right. So I'm all good now. Uh, but again, coming back to this, the interesting thing and in what we know, actually, well, I'm actually kind of cold. I'm going to get a sweatshirt. Damn, most, uh, I guess, I don't know, what would you call it? Coherent recording of mine. But again, you know, right? So, but the MC and Charlotte, obviously Charlotte knows who the MC is from Shiro. Uh, the MC has his suspicions about Charlotte, um, but I feel like it's it, it's not, you know, it doesn't take a genius or a detective to figure out who Charlotte is, right? And as soon as Charlotte starts to kind of inquire about the MC, I feel like he's going to know. And here's the thing, right? Because th this game has done a running... I, I was so glad that Mr. Hara didn't take that route. Um, Again, because I feel like if Charlotte tries to figure out from the MC why he did what he did, I feel like if he tells her, you know, she's going to realize... Like, you know, I, I feel like it's just... He's going to tell her, right? And then it'll be like... I, I feel like she'll understand. Like, I feel like if he tells anyone, he's like, one... Not only did a Shiro lie to me, Kayla and Ruby, too. Not only has Shiro done pretty bad things, right? All he needs to, and again, remember, all he needs to do is say, wait a second, you're Charlotte? Didn't Shiro manipulate you into rejecting Kai? Uh, oh, yeah, you know, he also completely lied to me as well as Kayla and Ruby. They don't even know that they did that, right? And that he's the reason this whole feud between Kai and Star. Do you also know he called my mom hot in front of my face? Again, like, I, I feel like it's just there's no way that Charlotte is going to be able to convince the MC, right? Because I feel like it's just, if anything, he's going to tell her or at least inquire about her actually rejecting Kai there. And, you know, that being like kind of confirming or denying that, right? So again, you know, I'll answer the post lab questions. So, oh my God, a favor. And it's, of course, it's going to be related to Shiro. And this is like, this. okay, I'm not even going to lie. If, if she actually does that, that's pretty fucking ridiculous. Like, and I also would not be surprised. Like, if she's like going to, you know, use a chance to try to like get him to get back. I honestly would not be surprised if Shiro manipulate her into rejecting Kai. Like that, I still think, I can't emphasize enough how much of a crazy thing that is. But it is something to where it's like, if she's willing to do that, right? I have no doubt she's willing to, you know, try to do, pull it here, right? Again, so. Fixes. They really made. That's crazy. I was going to say, they really made a sprite or model of her actually, like, you know, fixing her hair, right? Like, it's like, what does that even mean, bro? Like. But also, like, I feel like if the MC, if the MC has the sneaking suspicions about this being the Charlotte Shiro's friend, like, that wouldn't be the uh, 
what would you call it? You know, that wouldn't be the outcome anyway, right? So. All right, but what's the favor, you know? Yeah, dude, I feel like, listen, we all knew where this was headed. There's no, and again, there's just, there's no way the game's going to try to convince you or me, right? It's not, there's no way it's going to try to convince us that the MC made the wrong decision. He 100% made the right, right one. And I feel like we we saw this coming from a mile away, right? All he needs to do is ask, like, wait a second, didn't Shiro manipulate you into rejecting Kai? Did that actually happen? Like, again, right? So... Yeah, no shit. You're such a fucking idiot, dude. Of course it was. Who else would it be, right? You know, I, I feel like you would just assume that regardless, right? You know, science, Um, again, you know, just having the same name, it's like, all right, until the fact that she came to you, until otherwise, I would have assumed it was the Charlotte, you know, that uh, she was referring to, right? Yeah, dude, that's why I'm like, you know, I knew him. At least I thought I did. Do tell. Is there a particular, and again, you know, the MC, like, all he needs to do is say that, oh, I know Shiro told you to reject Kai and started this entire feud. That's literally all he needs to say. Like, that's all he needs to bring up. Like, I still can't emphasize enough how crazy that is. Like, that is such a crazy thing that they did. And again, you know, I feel like the thing is because Michael's obviously, Michael's not an idiot. He knows that Shiro asked Charlotte to try to make amends, you know, even though he technically didn't, funny enough, but he at least, at the very least, knew that Shiro told Charlotte about everything, even if he didn't particularly ask her to make amends. Because we know he didn't, right? He didn't want Charlotte to deal with him at all. But Charlotte kind of took it upon herself. So, Michael, that's why he's kind of curious. Like, oh, why are you asking me this, right? Because I feel like the, the baseline assumption is uh, based on who Shiro is, right? You wouldn't want to associate with him anyway. So it's like, dude, this is, what are you fucking talking? What do you mean part of the deal? It was a favor. And, you know, it's also like, that is a, like, th this isn't a fucking signed contract, right? It's not like, a, oh, gotcha. Now you need to answer, like, this is, that's not a thing. Like, he could just not answer your question if he wants to, right? Like, that's such, that's such a stupid premise. Granted, we know that Charlotte is willing or has allowed herself to be manipulated by Shiro to reject Kai. So who knows what kind of crazy things she would do to the MC. That's what he needs to worry about. If she's willing to reject Kai for Shiro, right? Uh, who knows what, like, that's what I'd be worried about. Is I, if I were the MC, I'd be like, all right, this is the person who Shiro manipulated, right? And allowed herself, you know, to actually, like, I guess, you know, what would you call it? Um, fulfill Shiro's needs there, right? In order to put Kai down a peg, right? So who knows what she'd do to me? I'd, I'd be more worried about what Charlotte's willing to do to me, you know, given that we know what she did to Kai, right? That's why it's like, you know, you could just not answer. Like, that's, this isn't a fucking written contract. Like, you could just not answer the question. Like, and again, like, we know that's the case because, like, Michael's not an idiot. The only reason she would ask is if she already knew everything, right? Like, and again, you know, he's also, like, not an idiot. It's like, yeah, I literally know who you are. So, But again, also, we know she doesn't owe him at all because her rejecting Kai is at, like, a, like high. Like, I can't, I, I just genuinely cannot emphasize enough how crazy that is. Like, her having done that goes far beyond anything Shiro could do for her. Like... I feel like this is such... And there's no way she's going to try to debate him on this. Because all he needs to say is, oh, Shiro's a horrible person. You know, oh, uh, Kayla and Ruby don't care. Right? Oh, you know, uh, I have to deal with all this Kai bullshit. Right? Oh, I know you uh, specifically. You're the reason why this feud started. Like...
And again, because here's the thing, the crazy thing, you know, is like, because obviously Shiro told Charlotte none of this. Because what Shiro told Charlotte is like, oh, he was manipulated by Kai. It's all his fault, right? But Michael's like, like, you know, I confirmed all of these things and other people were getting involved. Like, you know, in like, if Charlotte's going to say like, oh, that's what just, just what Kai wants you to believe. He's like, all right, you're in the pocket of Shiro at that point. Like, you might as well just be an extension of him. Like, you're not doing this on your own. You're doing this just to defend him at that point. You know, but, and again, you know, we know it's Sam, right? Yeah, and it's like, withdrawn. Damn, that's crazy. Who cares? But like, and, and this is why it's like, because. Charlotte can say this, but then just do what's in, like, you can say you're an independent, but just do whatever's in his interest, right? She could be, like, with him, how Jeremy and Kyle, right? Which we kind of know is the case already. But... And again, like, and this is my point. So she says she's independent. She's doing this on her own accord. Very clearly she's not, right? She's just doing this for Shiro. And, like, it's crazy how people are making this all about Kai and completely ignoring how shitty of a person Shiro is. Like, if you take away all the Kai crap, Shiro as a person is reason enough to leave. Like, I feel I don't understand how people don't realize that. Like, and again, very clearly, because, like, the fact that she cares... She doesn't care about the MC, right? She doesn't care about him, just like how neither Kayla nor Ruby care about him. They only care about Shiro, and they only care about the MC as a body. They don't care about his situation or dilemma because they don't even have a shred of understanding. To them, you know, the MC's like a traitor. And it's like, all right, so very clearly you didn't even care about him to begin with, right? Like, because if you did care about him, you'd at least be semi-understanding, right? But they don't. So, you know, I feel like this is, it's a self-fulfilling cycle. Like, if I was the MC, all of this, these, what people who clearly don't care about me, right, trying to, like, convince me that I made the wrong decision, if people who don't care about me are trying to tell me I made the wrong decision, that's how I know I made the right decision, right? So, like, the MC, you know, it's a self-fulfilling thing, you know? And again, like, this is the same exact line of, con like, she, like, this is literally exactly what Shiro's been saying. Like, it, it, there's no difference between what she and she has been saying. So it's like, okay, you can say you're, like, independent or doing it on your own accord, but that's very clearly not the case. You're just doing it for Shiro at this point, right? Jesse, Je shut the fuck up. Mr. White Shell, oh my, Jesse, Jesse Pinkman, ah. Oh. And again, here's the thing, and this is why, and this is what's ridiculous to me. People keep bringing up the Kai shit, right? Like, Shiro, but, like, they're completely ignoring how terrible of a person Shiro is. Like, And again, like, because here's the thing. Charlotte's obviously the MC has answers to all of these. He verified by uh, literally multiple people. Adrian, Monica, you know, it, those two were the first two, right? Shiro himself, right? He even verified through Kayla and Ruby before he even confronted Shiro about it, right? So who did he talk to? Those five. And who did he, you know, talk to about your decision to leave? It was his mother and then... uh you know, the, uh, that's why it's like Charlotte's not asking these questions because the MC doesn't have answers. She's asking them in an accusatory manner. And that's why I'm like, there's no way this mod's going to genuinely try to convince me that the MC made the wrong decision. Like, she's just, like, she says she's doing it on her own accord, but she's not. She's just doing it to defend Shiro. I feel like that's blatantly obvious, right? Because if she, it's very clear she doesn't care about Michael. Like, neither, just like how Kayla and Ruby don't care about Michael. None of them do. They only care about him as a fourth body. 
and they only care about Shiro, right? Like, to them, because Michael, you know, is dealing with his shit, right? Doesn't want to be involved. That makes him a traitor. And they just genuinely don't care about his situation. They don't, they couldn't care about less than what he could go through. His life could be absolute hell and they would not care. They'd only care that he stayed with the club. Like, he could literally be going through hell and back and they wouldn't care. And I feel like that's what we're seeing out of this. If people don't care about you, or if people who don't care about you tell you you're making the wrong decision, chances are you're making the right one, right? So, no, like, this is so fucking stupid. No, Shiro is a horrible person. Very clearly, the other two don't care about it. Why would you make amends with people who are terrible human beings and don't care about you? Like, that's such a stupid question. So, and again, I feel like here's the thing. Like, this last, you know, line by the MC, I feel like is like, kind of the core point of this he just wants like peace and quiet like it's so clear that nobody actually cares about the mc like shiro doesn't care about the mc kayla ruby doesn't care about the mc charlotte doesn't care about the mc right none of them do because if they did they would at least be semi-understanding of his situation which they're not so him saying this really is just confirming what we've known this whole time right he just wants like <laughs> You know, he just wants time to reflect on his decision, right? He doesn't want people to try to fucking, like, you know, berate or manipulate him, right? You know? And again, that's why it's like... And again, we know who this is. Sam, right? Like... But also, like, again, there's... The, and this is the problem. I don't feel any pity for Shiro or Charlotte. Like, it, because here's the thing. If Charlotte was an actual good person... She, like, she wouldn't be asked, also, there's the blue candy on the desk, that distracted me. If Charlotte was an actual good person, a decent human being, or at the very least doing it on her own accord, she would try to get the MC's reasoning as opposed to just being blatantly accusatory and acting on the accord and in defense of Shiro. Like, she was basically just accusing him the whole time, right? And it's like, all right, you know, clearly you're not doing it on your own accord, you're just defending Shiro. You deal with people like this all the time in life where they say one thing and then they do the other, right? And that they just blatantly don't care about you. They only care about their own interests or the interests of uh, their own friends, right? They And so long as you serve those interests, that's all that matters. But you yourself as a human being don't matter. That's, you know, Sean's perspective, right? Because here's the thing. This mod's going to try to portray, you know, oh, Kai bad, right? And this is why I'm saying, granted, I do have way more respect for Kai than Shiro, given he comes from, you know, the working class, right? And, you know, worked his way to the top of the school. Even ignoring all the Kai crap, Shiro as a human being, and the fact that Kayla and Ruby don't care about him is reason enough to not associate with the club. Like, it's just so crazy how it's, I don't want to say it's entitlement, but it's crazy how they feel as though the MC has, like, an obligation to be a part of the club. It's just honestly ridiculous. Like, it really is. And I'm really concerned with the direction this mod's heading in. Because if they, they're genuinely going to try to pull the, oh, the MC made the wrong decision. Oh, Shiro's a victim. Like, I can't support this mod. Because that is just so blatantly, like, wrong. And just so blatantly, like, naive. And, like, I, like it's just so disconnected from reality. Like, I'm not reading this shit, bro. Like, interesting development here. Interesting development. Actually, a very interesting development. Because here's the thing. We know Monica was the subject at hand for uh, Shiro's poem, right? She verified it herself. We knew she was the subject at hand. Now, it's questionable whether or not Charlotte knows that, but because she has a connection to Monica, who has a connection to the MC, right? Because she was one of the people who verified uh, the rumors regarding Shiro, right, to the MC. So, again, she can kind of verify to Charlotte there, right? Because, <clears throat> again, here's the thing. Charlotte knows, both of them know Michael, right? And Monica is not only the the... Again, the reason, like, not only is she the subject of everything, right? But also, she was the person, or at least one of the people, the MC verified her, right? 
And I feel like at some point, Charlotte's going to need to realize that Shiro's not the victim here, right? Because in her mind, he's still the victim. But, like, if she talks to Maka, Maka's like, oh, yeah, you know, um, I told the MC that, you know, about what he did, right, and what he wrote about. Because whether or not, like, because I'm going to, I'm not even going to lie. If Charlotte knows that Monica was the subject of it, and she's still going to, like, defend Shiro, like, that's actually, like, pretty crazy. But if she doesn't, and Monica feels that to her, it'll be very interesting to see a reaction, right? So, who's a... Is, is it Adrian? It's got to be Adrian, right? So, and again, the situation being involving the MC, which Monica, uh, again, knows about, right? So, and, and again, uh, Jeremy, right? Because, uh, yeah, he's the president, right? So, let's see. And again, the the because here's the thing, right? The crazy thing is that they feel the craziest part of this is that like they feel as though the MC like doesn't have a choice in the matter and he's just obligated to be a part of the club. I think that's the most ridiculous part, as though like he they're trying to like force him to be a part of it, like he doesn't have a choice in the matter. Like that's what's the most ridiculous part of this. Again, and I feel like it just goes to show that none of them care about the MC, right? They clearly don't. Like, and obviously, you know, again, Monica obviously knows him, right? But also, like, the fact that it's just so fucking crazy how they pin it on him and him alone versus, oh, what about Shiro, right? What about Kalen? Like, it's just, to me, that's so crazy how all the blame falls on him when, like, they're acting as if he has an obligation to be a part of the club and that it's very obvious they don't care about him at all. Because if they, you know, they just view him as a body for the club, right? That's what he's reduced to. Because if they did, they would at least semi-understand the situation. So, but again, here's the thing. They're just blaming it on Kai. Like, and this is my problem. They're just all blaming it on Kai. Even, and this is why I said, even ignoring everything with Kai, Shiro as a person alone is enough reason not to associate much less given the fact that very clearly Kayla and Ruby don't care about it. Like, it all just falls on Kai when that's not what it's about. Like, and it's just so crazy because it's not even like we know that Shiro didn't do it. We know he did exactly what they said he did. And worse, we know he's the reason for the feud between him and Kai. It's just so fucking ridiculous. There's no way this mod's genuinely going to try to convince us that, like, he made the wrong decision. And again, Monica's not a fucking idiot. She's like, all right, all right, I know you're doing this for Shiro. Like, it's so fucking obvious, because Charlotte's going to say some bullshit like, oh, no, I'm doing this for me, when she's very clearly just doing it to defend Shiro. We saw that with, she didn't even bother to try to understand why Michael did it. She just accused him the whole time. In a, yeah, obvious, right? So, and again, but here's the problem, right? You can bring the club back. Their way of bringing the club back is forcing the MC to join and him being an obligatory member and not having a choice in the matter. Like, that's what's the most ridiculous fucking thing about this. That, like, they feel as though the MC has some obligation to be a part of the club. Like, that's just the most ridiculous thing. Like, and again, obviously, I feel like what has been mentioned, yes, Monica obviously knows Michael in, again, she, she knows that, she, or, well, Charlotte doesn't know, but again, Monica is obviously one of the people to verify, and especially given she was the subject, right? If Charlotte, because there's no way that Charlotte knows about Monica being the subject of Shiro's poems. Because if she did, then there's no way she would, like, still be, like, defending him, at least in front of Monica, right? Like, and again, right? So, who the fuck is this dude? I'm. I don't care who this fucking. Oh, it's Sayori, right? So you know, hey, and we know Sayori's who Michael talked to, right? Like Michael talked to all three of these people. <coughs> She's doing fine. Is that? It's got to be Natsuki, right? It's got to be Natsuki. Because it wouldn't be Yuri, because we know Adrian and Yuri, right? So.
And this is Adrian, right? So, uh, shut the fuck up, bro. And again, Yuri, right? So, again, because this is our first uh, mention of Yuri in this. But that's who we assumed, again, that Purple Heart was in. So, again, right? So, Mr. Mathers. So, again, freaking, we know Yuri and Adrian are a thing, right? So... I mean, yeah, that's what happened. Like, like Caitlyn did to the cycling club, the no good reason. What the hell happened with the cycling club, bro? Is there some, like, hidden lore to this game about this club? So, like, and again, I, like, but here, again, and here's the thing, right? I feel like I, I do find it crazy how people are trying to basically manipulate the MC into just, like, staying a part of the club and being, like, an obligatory member. Like, I think that's the craziest thing, that they feel as though the MC has some sort of obligation to just remain a part of it, right? Like, that is what's ridiculous. Like, but again, here's the problem, right? Was pushed, this is so fucking stupid. Like, this is the problem. Like, they're completely ignoring the fact that Shiro is such a horrible human being. Like, to them, it's it's like just the same thing Shiro's doing, how he can't accept responsibility for anything and that everything's on Kai. Like, it's actually so fucking crazy, the mods trying to kind of push this narrative. Like, but again, this is so, like, this completely ignores, like, the who Shiro is fundamentally. Like, it's just so fucking ridiculous how that's not even, like, a consideration. Just, you know, maybe Shiro not being a good, it's crazy because it, it's just, I swear, it's like, dude, this is, like, how people in real life are, though. Because people just hyper fixate on what they want to hear and not actually the full picture. Like, they hear something involving Kai and they're like, oh, it's his fault. He's the reason. You know, versus, well, Shiro's literally the worst person we've seen in the mod so far. Shiro's unironically the worst person in this whole mod. Like, he's the worst human being in this whole mod out of anyone by far. Like, but again, this is, like, everyone's completely ignoring how and who Shiro is as a person, which is what's just the most fucking ridiculous part about it. Like, on, oh, I didn't read this. <clears throat> but we know, and again, what the craziest part is Monica was the one who verified to the MC everything about Shiro. So, like, again, it's completely ignoring that fact, right? Like, and again, you know, and again, the big thing is, like, Monica herself was the one who verified, again, the rumors about Shiro to the MC, yet that's still all being ignored, right? So, Caitlyn's Frost, what the fuck, dude? What hell? What the hell happened with this cycling club, bro? Like, I'm not reading this shit, bro. I don't give a fuck about what Adrian has to say, bro. Like, But again, here's the problem. They're completely ignoring Shiro. It, it's nothing. It, it's crazy how the mod's genuinely trying to push that. Like, none of this is on Shiro. It's just genuinely so fucking ridiculous. Like, it's actually insane. Given that he's literally the one who started everything. Like. And again, like, Adrian here is even saying the thing that he did to Monica. So, again, we know that, A, you know, now we know that Charlotte, if she didn't know before, Monica, that Monica was the subject, right? But, two, this confirms that, yeah, they told him the truth about Shiro. So, like, it, it's somehow, the, the fact that Shiro has somehow not been a consideration of all this is just astounding. In that it's all on Kai and none of it's on Shiro. Like, but again, you know, he figured it out. Because they did, they did, they actually didn't tell him it was Monica, right? Who told him it was Monica? I think it was, um, was it Sayori? I don't know. But again, he, he they did tell him it was, or it was Shiro himself who told him. No, I don't remember. But, and again, so... And again, like, because he was pretty, I mean, he was friends with Shiro, right? 
But, like, I feel like what the MC did and what Charlotte's, like, I, I feel like there's a big difference between what the MC and Charlotte did. The MC genuinely tried to reach out and get more, like, information on Shiro versus Charlotte, who's just blatantly defending Shiro despite everything and trying to, like, accuse the MC, right? You know, and berate him there. Like, so... But again, like, this is, but this is still completely ignoring the fact. Like, this is still putting it on Kai, despite what she, this is so fucking crazy. Dude, I, but I swear, people are like this in real life. Like, this is, this is just human nature. You just completely block out what you want to hear or what you don't want to hear and just hyper fixate on what you do. Like, this is exactly what's going on here. Like, Charlotte does not hear anything about any faults with Shiro and how horrible of a human being he is. All she hears, like, the fact that they were talking about what Shiro did and she still somehow pinned it on Kai is crazy. So, but that's literally true. This is so ridiculous, dude. I actually hate Charlotte and Shiro so much. Like, this is just so fucking ridiculous. It's like they somehow cannot be at fault. Like, it's so ridiculous how neither of them much, again, are willing to accept responsibility or that, like, Shiro had any action in this. Like, it's like Shiro's a little angel and, like, Kai is the devil. Like, that's genuinely how they view it, which is just so fucking ridiculous. It's literally true. Monica was the subject. Like, she read the damn thing. She saw the hand. That is, that is so fucking crazy. Like... You know, again, right? Like, this is just so fucking crazy. Like, this is just so fucking ridiculous and insane. Like, this is just so fucking insane. Because even assuming, like, <clears throat> Charlotte does talk to them, how does that change anything? What's she going to do? Force him to be a part of the club? Again, it's just so... I genuinely, like, listen, I'm really, really fucking concerned for the direction this mod's heading in. I'm really, really concerned. I'm so fucking concerned for what this mod's trying to push across. I need to put this mod, like, D tier solely because of that. Like, I'm I'm throwing this mod in D tier until, like, it, it actually sorts itself out. Because this is really fucking concerning. Like it's just so genuinely concerning. Like, I hate to say it because other than that, it's a very clear, you know, high quality mod. And like, I genuinely enjoyed it for like the first bit of it. But like with how they're trying to push this, it's just so fucking crazy. And there's no way that that's like the message and narrative they're trying to push. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say there. So yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.